What's up, amazing, amazing people? Vicky Melo the back once again, and um, we're here. I love you guys have been asking me where have you been? You are no longer um, frequent on on YouTube, you no longer or more been busy like work with um, a lot of projects most people who come from this channel and every other place like i have lots of projects that i work with mixes beats and the rest of that so but then i will always keep making out time to come online and do my stuff you understand so today someone um, messaged me on instagram or in one of the comment section because at the end of the video i always say drop a comment in the comment section the kind of video you want to see next so someone said i should do i've forgotten his name i should do a side chaining video and it's going to be very simple in FL Studio. Side chaining in Cubase is even more easy. I think I've done I've shown it um, in one of these tutorials. I will just be linking anything I talk about. You see it in the card or in the description. So do well to always check the description. You see stuff that I'll be talking about in any course of any video that you see me you watch on this channel. So if you've not liked or subscribed, we are waiting for you. So do so now. Let's head into the system and do some side chaining. Okay, so before we start, I will have to explain what is side chaining. Now, I won't be going like the very definition. I will just um, break it down to the layman's understanding. When if someone you are still coming up, you understand what side chaining means. Side chaining literally means using a particular sound or a signal of a sound to trigger another plugin that will control another sound. I don't know if it makes sense. Like taking an information from one mixer channel, sending it to a plugin in another mixer channel to affect a particular plug you might be sightening using eq or compressor so you are telling um, a particular eq or a compressor in a channel don't um, work until you this uh, may be a signal maybe most times what we use sightening is um kick and bass because it creates room for the kick and the bass to breathe like when the kick hits the sightening the um bass guitar will activate like a compressor or an eq to dock down the bass so that the kick will stand on its own then after the kick disappears the bass comes up that's just side chaining sometimes we also side chain vocals with um with pad like pads that occupy the vocal frequencies we just side chain to make sure that the vocal is always at the top anytime the vocal comes the other one will like go down and say like baba you understand something like that so we also use them um, side chaining for creative purposes like some there's this um, particular um edm kind of music where you hear um um pumping effect <laughs> so those things are done with side chain so but i'll just be showing you um the kick and the bass um side chain that's the most common side chain and most times you see my mixing tutorials where i always talk about the low frequencies because you easily um get problems in the low frequencies once your low frequencies are correct then you have high chances of having a good mixed sound whether it's your instrumental or your vocal okay so um i'll be starting there is this beat i was making like i'm trying to like update my my b stars like i'm making a lot of beats so i could just um update my b star stores where we sell beats if you're a producer you understand so you see so this is how the beat sounds like This is um, actually um, kind of um, a high life, um, high life kind of vibe. That that was the mood I was in. I think I was listening to one of these high life sounds. Sometimes we know we producers we listen to a lot of sounds and get inspiration. So this particular song, um, beat, what inspired it was one of the old high life songs from our house at the them. And this is kind of beat that people like Timaya could just murder. You understand? So uh, even before I start this tutorial, I think this sound. Mm. this sound was gotten from um it's just is an old plugin actually e, i think hypersonic who uses hypersonic again i beg it's just hypersonic then uh i added i added um an old tape to give it that old feeling you understand you understand that that vibration that wow flutter understand that's just i think i should just remove it and see what it sounds like
that kind of tape tape feeling that they used to record in those days you understand so now back to our side chain mm. so here is, these are the stuff i want to um work on the kick <laughs> So the kick and the bass, they are all resonating on the low frequencies between from zero to um, let's say one fifty, um, and we want to create that room for um, both of them to balance equally. And you know the kick is the heart of a song, the bass also is the groove that glues everything together. So both of them are so important. So what we we'll do is to do side chaining. So we want the kick to attenuate or um, um, compress the bass anytime the kick comes because we cannot use bass and the bass guitar to attenuate the kick because the bass the guitar is consistent but the kick comes and goes so it's a good signal for um the compression so what i'll do is this is the kick so guys uh, at this point i have to stop and talk about the sponsors of today's um, video and it's no other person than this kid uh this kid is a platform you know we all distribute our sound if you're an artist or a producer you distribute your sound even producers djs everyone can distribute their songs on streaming platform and get streamed and make a whole lot of cash so this okay is that trusted platform where you can use them um, to distribute your sounds your music and then um, they cover you for um copyright and whole stuff like that so it's just very simple and straightforward like you can see the amount of money you're making and uh, which channel is giving you so and so amount and the rest of that so it's just so straightforward so do well to check out this token and use my link on the description below so that you get like a seven percent discount on your registration and that's also a way of supporting the channel for so we always see bread you know, food to chop and you know fuel to fuel our generator and our car and keep the channel rolling you understand so do well to hit up the link below to sign up thank you this is the kick i'll just um highlight the kick and right click on the on this um lower part of the base and i'll right side turn to this track i'll click it then I've, what it, what it does was it's just sending an information to whatever you want to activate in this um, base. So I'll come to the base and um, I, I usually like to put it on the last channel, and uh, I'll add um, the default plugin actually, the fruity limiter. You know, it works as a compressor. I'll just change it to compression, and um, come over to the side chain. You see the side chain. I'll just right click and you see that the kick information is seeing that there is a side chain from the kick. So I'll just highlight the kick. That means it's taking information from the kick. So you see, then I will just work on the attack ratio, threshold, and the rest of that. So just watch me do it. I'm using a ratio of three to one or four. Between that ratio is good enough. Then I'll just bring down my threshold. Then you see the kick um compressing anytime the kick comes and you to just reduce the volume of the of the bass so that the kick will always be pre um, present understand so it creates that space in the low frequency where nothing is muddy and nothing is clashing together you understand so you won't have you hardly notice, notice um, all this stuff until you begin to master your track then everything begins to cry out for volume and you understand everything gets messy so it's always good to get, have your mix correctly especially mix your beats correctly even before you you send it to um the person recording and for not do the vocal uh, mixing and the stuff like that so let me just um over squash it so you see what it sounds like Now I'm, I'm just trying to exaggerate so you see what we're actually doing but you do it in a way that is not too noticeable but something is happening there and you also um mind your your release let the release not be too slow that it keep, it, you notice the rise and mm, understand you see all these purple signals they are just the kick um, deep, um taking down the volume of the bass at that point so that the kick will be present 
and um, it's a fast attack because you want it to happen instantly so it's a fast attack then uh, you, you not make it a slow release so that it won't be so that um, it's slowly leaving the compression and it's not what you want so you want it to just boom and go back so it, it will have that pumping effect like you sometimes you go to the club and listen to sound like the kick is hitting <laughs> it's because of side chaining understand they play with the attack and the release that's how they get um, those effects you understand <laughs> Tutorial I don't finish when I sit there here. What, what are you still watching? I beg.